Oh my God. So many things to tell you guys that actually led to an incredible Bitcoin pump. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Here it is. Absolutely incredible. From 27K all the way up to 28 2 And um, I told you so in my previous video. It happened within 72 hours, not 48 hours. But nonetheless, we've seen a huge pump in Bitcoin. So subscribe, hit that notification bell. Please call me Mr. Spot on that in the comments because I told you a huge move is coming for obvious reasons. So now let's have a look as to what has happened because uh, you might be celebrating too early. Just, just let me put it this way. So make sure to watch this video from the beginning and until the end as always, as always. So if you want to get all the juice out of it and actually get some use out of it. So uh, first thing I really wanted to mention before we come back to the chart, I'll put the TA at the end of the video because first we need to understand the contest, the narrative and what is happening in the market right now. I'm going to certainly show you my long trade and what happened to it and uh, it's going to teach you a thing or two. So first thing I want you to pay attention to because the th uh, when I woke up today and I saw this, I was like, wow, this is nice. Okay, great. This is what we expected. But what's with the liquidations? Is it just what is the reason behind it? Because there can be a million reasons behind it. And I thought maybe it's a bunch of liquidations. But if you look at it, it's not that many. Look how many li long liquidations we had once previously when we were actually going down from 29, whatever. Uh, and right now we didn't have that many liquidations. It was 100 million. I mean, yeah, but it's not nothing that spectacular. So this leads me to believe that this wasn't caused by, you know, just a short squeeze. It was caused by a genuine move. If it's not a short squeeze, it is a genuine move. So, but let's get into this. Let me show you everything because there is also a volume. One of the things I wanted to just point out real quick, what I've told you we had to watch was on the uh, September 29th was the inflation. So the core one, actually, this is what we care about. The core one forecast was 3.9, if we all even believe all these numbers. But anyway, this is what Fed uses. And uh, actually, it, it came in at 3.9 as well. So inflation is going down. So this is what we care about. This is what we want to see. Certainly, if we're going to take a look at the main one, then we're going to see that we've seen an uptick from 3.3 to 3.5. But remember, there is fuel and energy in this. And in, um, um, oil has been going up because of OPEC. And this is something Fed doesn't control. So they will be looking at this more than at this. Now, after this pump, I'm actually adding to my long trade over on Bybit. And remember, this trade used to be half a million dollar trade. Now it's actually going to be a $700,000 trade. Small negative, still on this side, yes. But I still do believe in this trade. I mean, look at the volume here in this candle. It is pretty crazy. So, but again, before you make any conclusions, let me show you what I expect closer to the end of this video in the TA. Uh, and certainly, if you guys want to be trading on an exchange that you can trust, I've been keeping this trade forever over on Bybit. I've been showing you this trade. Usually, my trades play out immediately and we take crazy profits. But this trade has been taking us quite some time and looking quite pale. But I stuck to it. I stuck to my guns, to my rules. And and uh, I still could, you know, get it wrong, but this would be the first trade I get wrong, the big trade on YouTube this year. So I can afford to get a wrong trade. But so far, it actually has a chance of playing out. And remember, if you want an, uh, an exchange that you can trust, then with my exclusive link down in the description of this video, you can claim up to $30,000 in initial deposit bonuses. And you can actually, if you're a Bybit trader, you've used my link to sign up. You can actually become part of my community. Also link down in the description of this video. And this is where I post all of my trades and the trades of my team. And we're doing exceptionally well. We're posting more short-term trades like quick liquidity trades, etc. in there. And we're doing really well. Not every trade is a problem. It, obviously, sometimes we'll lose some trades, but overall, it's an incredible community of 40,000 traders. And if you're a Bybit trader, you can join it for free. There is an instruction of how to join inside Discord itself. So become a part of our team right now. Now, let's discuss this because uh, just to give you more context as to what is happening before I tell you what I expect from the price short term and long term, uh, Bitcoin price posting best September since 2016 as Bitcoin sellers I-27.5. Well, hello, 28,000 already. And if we're going to take a look at this chart right here, then usually September's have always right here. The September has always been terrible, almost always. And this September came in as one of the best Septembers, except for 2016, 2015. This became the best September ever. And right now we are going into October. 
right here. And usually Octobers are incredibly pumpy, pumptober. So, and usually uh, when we've seen a good September, which was quite rare right here, we actually also had very good pumps in October. Well, we always had good October. So let's see what happens in October, because if September was so good, well, I mean, October could have a good chance of being really good. And we have a few reasons. ETF is coming up, the rate cuts are coming up, so many things are coming up, a halving is coming up, so much money is on the sidelines that is coming up, it's going to be dumped into the assets of people. It's incredible. And people who don't understand this, they're going to be left behind. Just as behind as potentially, again, I'm not saying this is going to play out, but it's going to, it starts to look awfully like this. Just like in 2014 and 17, again, I don't really like these models, but when they coincide with fundamentals, macro, liquidity, etc., this becomes quite relevant, to be honest. This is what we've seen in 2014 and 17 after the dump, we had the bear market and consolidation, then this, you know, kind of devastating fear area, people saying that, oh, we're going down to zero, zero. And then we've seen, well, halving and then the bull market. So this is where we are standing right now in these 200 days before halving event. And usually it is quite a stagnant time, slow time, but it actually is with a lot of volatility at times, just like this right here. So is the time, is the history going to repeat? Well, from what we see fundamentally and macro wise, it is quite very possible right now. And also, one of the big reasons why we've seen a big pump, actually, is because US Congress has passed a bill to fund government for 45, 45 days, averting shutdown. So they averted shutdown. So this is actually very positive for the economy in general. So that's why a risk uh, appetite for the risk assets actually uh, comes back a little bit. And Biden tells Congress to get to work on longer term government funding deal after averting shutdowns. So in general, to be honest, all these shutdowns is just a big advertisement for Bitcoin. But since they averted it and it's good for the economy in general, so it doesn't look too bad for the US. So therefore, we're seeing a very nice pump in Bitcoin. But now I'm getting to the point that you really need to understand. So everything is, you know, not everything is, you know, unicorns, rainbows and sunshine. So what you want to understand is, OK, the pump is nice. Uh, but let's go back to market makers. The liquidity is still relatively low. We're seeing a little bit of volume right here. Yeah, I mean, certainly it's not bad. So volume is there. So we actually are seeing some little bit of follow through uh, when it comes to volume. However, remember that the volatility overall is still low. And we are still in the same official, well, not official, but in the same confines of market maker liquidity, Ma meaning that we've seen huge, it's still there. It still is sitting same place, huge liquidity for market makers at 25k, huge liquidity for market makers at 31k. And this is the range between which We've been standing for quite some time, as you can see right here and right here and also right here. And this is where market makers like to make money. Just, you know, shaving idiots and hamsters and all the beginners who just, you know, brought them some money to the market. Those who are not students of Thomas Crowell, again, all the resources to the best trading education in the world that is certified but by the same agency that has certified Cambridge and Oxford and King's College of London. Then you want to go down the description of this video. Everything is there. And right now, what we really want to be paying attention to currently is... Uh, not even 31k because we all want to see the price go there but in the middle there is this balance area for market makers and this balance area I told you about this before it's 28k and this is where we actually got rejected from previously right here as you can see so this balance area we're actually currently standing right at it we actually look Look what kind of price action there is in this area because it is important. And this is the market maker stuff. You're not going to find it anywhere. So subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm telling you exactly what is happening, why, where, and I'm explaining everything. And we're taking good trades together. Not every trade is amazing, but most trades are freaking crazy. So for now, we could see uh, a pullback from this balance area of 28K. I would not be surprised for us even to go lower and somehow retest this trajectory and then potentially reattempt it again and then move higher if we get actually some extra good news. Because right now, it is hard for the market to move up. And I think that this is a very important level that you have to watch. I'm not saying, you know, close all of your long trades, take some profits and watch this level for some time. Because I think that this is right now a very strong level we really want to bring 
break, which the breaking and stabilization above, if we stabilize above it, this is going to open the road to even 30k because on the way to 30k, like 2930, this vicinity will be easy to reach just liquidity wise, as long as we break 28. Right now, it's very important. So watch this, keep your stops close. And remember that this is the area where hamsters were shaven before. And uh, yeah, so let's find out what happens. And guys, check out this vlog. This is the first vlog of my expedition from New York to Alaska. First ever world, uh, the Guinness World Records are pending right now for this and this nobody has ever attempt attempted it before check it out and as always peace and love Thomas Crawlow stay smart stay very rich and listen to Mr. Spot on see you in the next video bye bye